Hello everyone, welcome back to the Pokemon X Random Mars and Ozlock. In the last episode we defeated all of the gym trainers here in the third gym. And we actually figured out that the gym Pokemon are going to be slightly higher level than I thought they were going to be. And we defeated Serena after being absolutely destroyed by her the episode before. But right now we're going to... Where is she? Oh, there she is. We're going to face this gym battle, we'll then go back to the Tower of Mega Evolution Mastery, whatever the frick it's called, and then battle her again. So we're going to battle this uh, girl twice today, and in both cases I assume she's going to have six Pokemon, which is probably going to be two totally separate teams, and it's just gonna be a whole thing, and I'm not gonna enjoy it very much. She starts off with the Drapion, which we are in trouble. <laughs> we are in trouble. <laughs> That's not good for us. Obviously, uh, not with this matchup. But just in general, that's not good for us. Because I don't think we have much to deal with that. Do we? I think... Is Rock strong against Bug? It's the best option I have, because... Ice isn't going to do particularly much. Um, does Bug resist Bug? I think it might. If it doesn't, Signal Beam is actually a decent choice here as well. Let's start off with Rock Tomb, see how much it does. Not a lot, but I do now potentially outspeed it. I already outspeed it. <laughs> okay, um, I need to switch out. I'm gonna try a Signal Beam. If Drapion just wipes me, this is going to be added to the last episode, by the way. Uh, <laughs> because there's a chance that Drapion might wipe me. Okay. Um, after complaining about Brian last episode, it might actually come in useful this episode. That did freaking nothing. Hopefully Drapion is going to be the only problematic Pokemon here. I hope that the next Pokemon out is going to be like... A Magikarp, so that I can actually heal up a little bit. Uh, let's see what Aurora Beam does. Probably nothing like major, but at least it's stab. Actually, that does a decent amount of damage. At which point, Brine becomes useless again. My point stands. My ego is safe. Drapion is... I don't know why I didn't see that coming. Probably should have seen that coming. Also, uh, this Drapion definitely is choice, because otherwise, why the frick would you keep using Vanoshock and only Vanoshock? And by the amount of damage it's doing, I don't think it's choice pack either. It would be doing a lot more damage if it was choice packs. So, we're actually... Okay, so it's not choice, never mind. But the attack fell, and now it's using Poison Fang. Poison me. <laughs> of course, boy. Now Vanishok is going to do a lot of damage. But Brian, we Brian is actually going to come through for us here. It's actually going to do something. And it takes out a Drapion. Okay, so what's your next Pokemon? Because I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in big trouble. Spaghetti is level uh, 34. I was going to say 43, 34, whatever. Um... Source book. Olaf is just out of like the battle. Just Olaf won't be used, uh, probably. I don't think Source book can do much against me. Is the thing, right? Let's try. I'm going to heal up Olaf anyway, just because if I need to switch out into anything, the thing with an ice-type move might be the best option. I'm going to poison you as well while I'm healing up uh, my team members. Are you a poison type? You can poison grass types, can you? Oh, maybe the powder moves don't work in grass types. I don't know. What I do know is that did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to. And now I actually need to heal up Spaghetti. 
I think I'm going to use my hyper potion on spaghetti. The one hyper potion I have. Probably should have given everybody just an orange berry, to be honest, just for a little bit of extra HP. But uh, that didn't end up happening, I did it. I need to give... I, I need to do one more potion for uh, Yaroik. Whatever comes out next, if I can Mega Drain it, that'll be good enough for uh, Spaghetti to get HP back. But right now, I just need to get rid of the source book and see what's up next. That's two Pokemon down, four to go. At least it's not a freaking double battle. Okay. Olaf grew a level. It's very useful. She... Oh my... I so wish I had that White Lance right now. Because I might have actually gone sheer cold over Icy Wind. If only for this gym battle and the battle coming up. Weezing. Um, that is a very good question. That is a very good question indeed. It's probably not a smart idea to stay in with Baguette because it probably is going... It's going to have explosion. It's going to have explosion. If anything needs to die... If anything needs to die, Jeroid. I can't lose my grass type. And I would prefer to do a type. All things considered. What would be the best action here? Probably Aqua Jet, I imagine. Let's see. Check my They're both physical. Uh, which is very good for my stats. This becomes 60. And this is also 60. But this has priority. And this has a chance of lower speed. I don't think lowering speed is going to matter too much. Um, wait a second. Slams the user with a long tail. Vines a tentacle. It's twice in a row. But that's 70. That's 70. That's two times. But it only has 90 accuracy. But double hit is more powerful than Aqua Jet. I didn't think that through but yeah double hit is the way to go then definitely other than the fact that wheezing is a physical tank okay it only has self-destruct it doesn't have explosion meaning that i die i live i survived that very very narrowly but i survived Fuck off with Whirlpool! I don't need your Whirlpool! I'm a god! I mean, Yaroka is a god, obviously. <laughs> if that would have been an explosion... I'm gonna stay in. I I I'm gonna roll here. I I'm gonna roll. I can take this. Obviously, I am going to heal up first. But Olaf might have been a decent option. But I think Yarrick is a better option. Um, just because of the fact that it resists fire-type moves, obviously. Even though it's using takedown, so it doesn't really... Oh my! That was a critical hit. I mean, another critical hit will take me out, yes. But he's only going to get two critical hits in a row, I say. Waiting for it to actually happen, because that's just my luck. Okay, so we're not going to get anywhere this way. Um, I'm just going to Aqua Jet. That should take it out. Especially after hitting in recoil. To oh my, that didn't take it out. Because you hold a... Oh no, not because. Just you also hold a berry. Okay, so what now? Olaf. I guess Olaf. Um, Brian? Of course the Hyper Potion. This is not going to take you out. 
Is it gonna take you down to half? Yes. Is that gonna matter too much? Probably not, because, again, the whole idea about Brian... What does Noble Roar even do? Attack fail. Special attack fail. You know what? Brian being doubled in power actually matters there because of the special attack drop. Uh, wow. <laughs> just, just wow. We're down to two Pokemon there, which is uh, not particularly great. I need a Reno. Probably should have switched out because of the special attack drop. Uh, I just realized that now. Wait, you're not a ground type yet? Oh, oh. Ice isn't super effective against ground, is it? Super effective against rock. So I probably should have gone for Brian. <laughs> I never said I'm smart. I never said I, I'm good at this game. As a matter of fact, I repeatedly tell you guys how horrible I am at making good decisions in this game. <laughs> Why do you think I lose like 60, 70, 80% of my Nuzlocks? It's because I make bad decisions, especially... Okay, now I'm just confused. You are not a ground type? I don't... I'm down to one Pokemon. Are, are you just a pure poison type? Don't you... Need a... Re... No. It's just a poison type? Really? I, I never use a Nidorino because the moment I get a Nidorino I always just upgrade to Nido King. It's just a pure poison type. Uh, okay, so... Poison powder won't have any use. Warn attack is going to be nothing too interesting. I mean, might as well, right? I'm going to lose at the next battle anyway, even if I win this one. Because it's going to be a uh, six Pokemon battle. I might be able to take out the Yarn Mask. Okay, we survived. I wouldn't necessarily say we won, <laughs> but we survived. And we did take out all the opponent Pokemon. But at the cost of not being able to win the next battle, like in a million years. I'm going to try and I'm going to get to Mega Lucario, which is going to help a lot. But we went from having a lot of water types to having no water types. And if Tengrath can learn Power Up Punch, though, which he might be able to learn, we might have something on our hands because Power Up Punch is an overpowered as fuck move. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, somebody on my team uh, could have learned it, if they didn't die. And you, you survived! You survived to self-destruct and then you... Honestly, if I had waited two more turns, the recoil would have had Pyro down to a point where Aqua Jet would have taken it out. And I would have had a Pokemon with Power Punch right now. Instead, I only have one tank growth. Which is going to die, because no, I'm not going to uh, grind tank growth up to level 40 just to stand a chance against the upcoming battle, because I, on principle, have an issue with overleveling, even if it's just one against six. I'm going to, though, <laughs> take a quick look through my TMs just to be sure that Flash, no, Rock Tomb, maybe, Shadow Claw, not possible, Protect, uh, Return. I don't know what its happiness level is. Uh, but I'm probably going to teach it Rock Tomb. And I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center to heal this time. Uh, because I almost forgot again. Which would have been very, very bad. Um, uh, 
I don't know though. Having the physical grass up move was kind of nice as well. But I need to, I need to coverage. I, I need to coverage badly. Look at that physical attack though, that's insane. And potion powder is just sometimes you need to stall out an enemy. I, I need the coverage. I do. I'm going to get the Lucario. I don't know its moveset, but I think it has Bone Meringue, which is a good move. And obviously it's a Mega, which is going to help a lot, because that's going to make it stats like pseudo-legendary-like. Uh, I didn't go to the Pokemon Center, did I? <laughs> At least you don't take poison damage outside of battle anymore in this generation, which is real nice. Then again, it does also make you forget that you are poisoned. Though I prefer not to get damaged uh, for Nuzlocke reasons. Okay, here we go. Potentially the end of the series, potentially a new beginning. It's going to be one or the other. It's only one Pokemon. I'm very aware. You don't have to rub it in my face. Uh, it's not a good day today. I really do want to keep going with this uh, with this randomizer nuzlocke. That was the thing because we're only just three gyms in, and I don't want to end three gyms in. That being said, um, three gyms in actually has taken like fourteen episodes, which is somewhat interesting. Uh, let's actually see what's in this room. Just. Do you have anything useful for me? No, you don't. I'm going to assume that the other person has nothing useful either. We're just going to go to the top of the tower and... Who knows, maybe it's just going to be the one-on-one -on -one tutorial battle and it's not actually going to be anything scary. It is a possibility. A very unlikely possibility, but a possibility nonetheless. Yeah, no, it's... Definitely. I'm going to just die here. It's going to be a 2 on 6 battle. But it also would mean that she doesn't have a Mega Lucario of her own. So that is good. That is very good. That might actually give me a chance because I think that Lucario... Doesn't Mega Lucario have Power Up Punch? If she has six Pokemon, if the first two are nothing that can damage me very much, I can just... I can sweep her. I can potentially sweep her if the Power Punch thing is correct. Okay, I think we might stand a chance after all. Or this might just be Lucario versus Lucario and I didn't get changed. It's possible. I doubt it because this is an important story battle and those all should be randomized into having six Pokemon. We're about to fight. It's only one! And it's a Blastoise. Is it gonna be a Mega Blastoise? Is the question? Oh, that's not good for me at all. That's actually very bad for me. Um, that's Power Up Punch. If this thing, like, as much as touches me with, like, one fucking hydrogen atom, I'm dead. <laughs> I was kind of expecting Mega Evolution to be laggy on the end later. Yeah, it's a Mega Blastoise. So, I'm assuming that all the Mega Pokemon get randomized out for other Mega Pokemon. Um, and I think I'm stuck in with using Lucario yeah. I don't think I can switch out into Tangrowth. If I can, I will. Yeah, so the more complicated Mega Evolution models uh, aren't being very kind here. Can I switch out into Tangrowth? I can't. At least that means that this battle can't wipe me. I mean, I have to bone rush and just hope that I get like a mega creep. 
It's Bone Rush, by the way, not Bone Meringue he has, uh, after all. That does freaking nothing. So what do I do here is the question. Do I... Put Lucario away in the box? And not use him? I guess I do. Or do we count this as like a scripted battle? Will you take it with you? No. No, it just died. I'm not going to take a corpse away from you. You can bury it. It's not my fucking problem. Okay, so we're not getting a Lucario. We still only have one tank growth. At least we didn't lose the Nuzlocke. And I think... I think we still... But technically, wait, 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 but the way I see it is, the technicality makes sense. I don't know if we can still take it, I hope I can. The technicality makes sense and also does benefit me, admittedly. But we only got the opportunity to actually get Lucario after we lost the battle. So how can we lose something that we never actually owned, right? Maybe we can't actually get Lucario anymore. We're taking Lucario. I don't give a fuck. We're taking Lucario. <laughs> that technicality, just only on that technicality, I will allow myself to take Lucario. And um, because of that, we're calling you... Um, we are calling you... Paul. I don't know why. But you're Paul Lucario. Okay, so we do have the Lucario on our team, uh, on a technicality. And on the same kind of technicality, I'm going to actually take up the Lapras, because we can actually use a water type right now. And as a matter of fact, we actually need a water type, because uh, we're going to need to surf soon. And that actually almost perfectly wraps up the timing for this episode after I've gotten the Lapras, which might not be a Lapras. I was kind of expecting Lucario to be Lucario, but first things first, Lucario, you're holding your Megastone. Yes, you are. That's a good boy. Uh, boy, girl, I didn't even look. To be honest, I'm a expecting a guy, but maybe, uh, yeah, it's a guy. Okay. Um, there is a dude giving me a lap. You're not going to fight me again. Thank you. <laughs> You just wiped my team. Okay. There's a dude who gives you a Lapras here. I just don't know which one it is. I know you're not a dude, but somebody here gives me a Lapras. I think it's this dude? Um, I very much like the Lapras, yes. It still is a Lapras. Which is okay, I suppose. Um, have we had a Jimmy yet? I don't think we have a Jimmy yet. Jimmy the Lapras. It was a female. I noticed it the moment my thumb went down on the button. <laughs> it's a female Lapras. Okay, you know what? Girls can be called Jimmy. And um, Surf. Let's give it Surf. Jimmy the female Lapras. What moves do you have? Uh, Water Pulse, Body Slam, Parish Song, or Rain Dance. Parish Song is actually probably going to come in handy, believe it or not. Uh, let's get rid of Water Pulse. Maybe I should have gotten rid of Rain Dance because I'm not actually going to use it now that I think about it. Uh, we've already tried catching something in Route 12 and horribly, horribly failed. Next time we're going to make our way through Route 12 with this... 
I almost be able to call it a team again because it's three Pokemon rather than one. Um, wait a second, no, I'm not allowed to keep Lapras, am I? Because it's Route 12 and I already got something on Route 12. Okay. Um, no, okay, so we're not keeping Lapras. It's only... It's only two Pokemon. We're using Lapras for Surf, just to get uh, across the water, but after that it's going into uh, the box uh, never to be used again, because it's Route 12. I was sure that you got Lapras in the little... Um, in the little building here. In this space. In which case I would have still counted it as either a separate area or the city. But yeah, no... Uh, the guy who gives you Lapras is literally standing right next to a sign that says 12. So that is Route 12. There's like no arguing about it. Uh, so next time we're going to be using Lapras for a little while and then putting it away in the box. And then hopefully capturing like one or two more new Pokemon to like make our team somewhat useful again because we're still in a very, very desperate position. Until then, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed the video, which hopefully you have. I know I'm tired too. Bye.